Hello, welcome back to Mansfield Ceramics Gallery. This is a show of three wood firing artists that was really born out of our Clay Gulgong Festival last year. Uh, Peter Callis, who arrived from Belvedere in New Jersey, one of the world's leading wood fire artists who worked for many years with, with um, Peter Volkus. He became a, a, a great admirer of Sue Hanna's work and she was exhibiting during the festival. And married together with, with Jack Troy, who was at the festival, we thought it would be a lovely three-way conversation for these artists to have with their particular work. And so welcome to this extraordinary show. This is a work by Peter Callas, who I've already mentioned, um, hails from New Jersey, in uh, Belvedere in New Jersey. And as you can see, he's becoming increasingly more sculptural in his work. Peter has always been known to work with the medium of clay in, in a very sculptural way. But this is even pushing the boundaries even further with, with a, a, a more abstract construct uh, or concept. And it, I think it's a beautiful piece with the two very organic spheres joined together here in the center. Um, again, um, people who know me, I try and steer clear of talking too much about the technical aspect of wood-fired pots because I think it, it kind of clouds the actual work itself. But uh, you have to mention how beautifully fired this is and with the, with the, um, the, the deposits that are on the clay and uh, the subtle burnishing and sintering around here and then uh, the, the globules of wood ash that extend the sculptural form. It's a remarkable piece. This platter of Jack T Troy's is, I think, an absolute joy to look at. And it is, it I think it's a culmination of the, the decades of experience that Jack Troy has with both making and firing. I, I don't believe there are many wood-fired potters whose work stands out because they can have a sameness about them with, with the, if they're using similar firing techniques. It's one of the downsides of wood firing. But he, Jack, understands and has developed the nuances of wood firing, the, the beautiful subtleties of wood firing with his, um, with his application of whether he's using slip or, or, or shells. But, and, and his throwing skills are just magnificent. So, um, this is, this is a beautiful piece to come into and look at every day in the gallery. And it's been, um, it's been the, the source of much admiration by many of the people, the, the, the guests who've come through the doors. To hold a Jack Troy cup or mug or beaker is an absolute joy. There is always so much to see in it. But not only with the way it's been fired and, and decorated, but also the way Jack understands the tacility of a piece that needs to be held, the t t how, how it needs to feel in somebody's hand. Absolutely joyful. This is the work of Sue Hannah. She's an Australian wood-fired ceramic artist who lives um, just near Bendigo in Victoria. She's been, I, I mean, I've watched her mature as an artist over, over a few decades now, and we're delighted to be showing this body of work. You can see here the subtleties that she has managed to get, and I look at this and it just evokes the dryness of Australia, and yet the longing, the rain that we all long for, that sometimes comes and spends a little bit too, too much time with us. But it's... Um, it's, it's a beautiful piece and many people have come through the gallery and just been absolutely in awe of how with a certain luck of the kiln, there's no doubt about that, but also the way uh, her experience has allowed the runoff here to, to, to bring about this, this incredible result. It's, it's a beautiful piece of work by Sue Hanna. For me, in this particular show with Sue Hanna, it is so... Um, evocative of Australia. Here you see a piece that's, that's, quite, um, that's quite naked and then you've got this tiny blossom of a flower, blooming flower in the centre of it, which of course in Australia happens. We have those dry seasons, the rain comes and everything then comes into bloom. And st sitting next to it here is another Sue Hannah vessel. Again, 
with a beautiful wood ash glaze going through. It's, it's, a, it's again, I mean, um, we do, I can't encourage you enough to come in and see this show by these three artists. It's lovely to have two Americans, two of the, not just American uh, wood-fired ceramics, but leaders in the world of wood-firing ceramics, uh, Peter Callis and Jack Troy, sitting very comfortably with Australia's Sue Hanna. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs>